Well, hello YouTube. I know it's been a while, but look at what I pulled out of the back cave. This is my M1 Garand, or Garin, as some people say. I just say Garand. Um, I ended up picking this thing up from the CMP several, uh, about three years ago, two years ago. Might have been three years ago. I've had it for some time. And I actually, actually waited a year to even get it. Like, I had submitted my paperwork and, um, uh, took a whole year for them to actually send it to me. Which I think they're all out of these things now, but this is the special select one that cost a thousand dollars which it was well worth it trust me pull that bolt back it's looking nice 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 now there's a CMP stamp on here somewhere okay here it is see if you guys can see it but other than that I mean I think I'm going to work on this wood, give this wood a little bit of a shine or something, but the wood's in excellent condition. Uh, it's probably not the best looking wood, but I've seen better. But, I can't complain. Now, if only I could have got my hands on the M1 carbine, uh, that would have been much better. I've contemplated, you know, putting on uh, one of those adjustable gas regulators that would allow you to... Uh, diversify some of the ammo types that you can use because with this gas gas system and the op rod um, these things are only really meant to use 150 grains at a certain powder level so uh, with that gas regulator you could you have more options but other than that you know I just want to show you guys uh, my item that I picked up out of the back cave and trust me don't ask what the back cave is it's secret uh, <laughs> But um, feel free to comment, you know, share your uh, thoughts of wisdom on uh, on the M1 Garands. I much appreciate it, you know. I actually listen to you guys when you comment. All right, take it easy, guys.